My name is Sirona Winfrey and I have lived in Little Elm since December of 1997, so almost 25 years. Both of my children attended Little Elm schools from kindergarten through high school. We've watched the district grow and change through the years, and even though both of my kids have since graduated, I'm still a resident of the district and continue to see how much growth is coming and how it's impacting our schools. Over the years, I have served as a substitute teacher. I've served on a number of committees at the schools and for the district, including the Long Range Facilities Planning Committee, twice, working on the issues for the bond that passed in 2017 and the most recent bond effort. Although several elements in this bond are addressed, it is primarily about growth and security and safety. LEISD is growing. Currently, we have over 8,400 students in the district. One of our elementary schools has more than 350 students in portable buildings, and our demographers estimate we will add another 1,700 students in the next five years. Issuing bonds is one way schools are able to accommodate growth with new construction. Construction of a new wing of classrooms as well as other expansions at the high school and construction of two new elementary schools to reduce overcrowding are the primary pieces this bond will facilitate. Another part of this bond will be the district's security and student safety. The package includes automatically locking card swipe doors as well as additional cameras and monitoring, weapons detection systems, as well as security window film. When you go to vote, you will see language on the ballot that states this is a property tax increase. The state of Texas requires this language on all bond propositions. Regardless of the election result, the district's tax rate is not projected to increase, which is the lowest it's been in 14 years. For more information on the November bond, please go to littleelmisdbond.com.